I will show you a powerful Sudoku strategy that can solve this seemingly impossible puzzle. And with that, it's solving time. First, you want to get some easy solves out of the way. You might notice with these two sixes, the only place for a six in block three is right there. And then with this four cutting up the column, the only place for a four is right there in block three. Greetings, friend. I want to thank Bondi for making this classic that may seem impossible to solve. However, I'll show you how to set up and find a powerful strategy you can use to unlock the hardest of puzzles, including this one. And now the question of the day. Do you notice any differences between handmade and computer generated Sudoku puzzles? I have my own opinion on this and I want to hear from you. Please, please drop in the comments on what you notice. Share this with the other viewers. I value the feedback and I answer every comment. In this puzzle, you next want to look for digit restrictions from 1 to 9. Go as far as you can get before you get stuck. Look at the 1s first. There's only two places for a 1 there in block 2. No other marks or solves with the 1s. Go to the 2s. Nothing we can do with the 2s. Again, you're looking for just two possibilities for a can in a 3x3 three three block to find restrictions or if you can make a solve. Move on to the 3s. What you may notice is... You have these three cells remaining in block three, and they're all in column eight. So this is a locked triple of a three, seven, eight, right? Because it can't be one, two, four, five, six, nine. What's nice about the locked triple is now a three, seven, eight cannot be anywhere else in this column because those three digits have to be in these three cells right here. And so you can eliminate 3, 7, 8 from all these cells. So this 3 and these 3s right here, which act as a pointing pair, limit the 3s of these two cells now in block 9. And we'll look the same thing with the 7s and the 8s. But let's move on. What else can you do with the 3s? Uh, that's about it. With the 4s, you'll notice there's only one place to put a 4 now in block 6. And with these 4s and the 4 in column 3, Two places for a four on block four. And with these fours, two places in block eight. Okay, move on to the fives. No marks you can make with the fives. And with the sixes, nothing else you can mark right now. Move on to the sevens. You'll see with these two sevens, two places for a seven in block one. Uh, the sevens are in two places here. I'm not going to mark it because you already have the lock triple there. And then with the fives, or column five, excuse me, block five, sevens can only be in these two spots. Okay, move on to the eights. With these two eights, restricts the eights there in block two. I'm not marking the eights in block three since you already have that lock triple there. But we can move on now to the nines. And you might see only two places for a nine in block two. And so a bonus tip, if you do this one through nine, make a few solves, go back through, see if there's any new restrictions that you made. You also want to focus a little bit more on pairs and triples if as appropriate. You might see with this one and the one here, you now can mark the ones in block six. And then with this two and this two, you now have a pointing pair of twos and block six. So you create a little bit more restriction down here, block six and block nine because of the four right there. But that's about it. You're gonna be pretty hard stuck to find the next solve until you know or know how to find that advanced strategy. In fact, this puzzle is gonna seem impossible, it's tough. But I'm gonna show you how to do it. There's three things you wanna do when you get to this point. So we exhausted all the easy and medium strategies that you can find in my free Sudoku solving guide. So you got to find something a little bit more powerful. The first thing you can do is you can look for all single can strategies. So you would highlight where all the ones could be, for example, and look for conjugate pairs, look for skyscrapers, two string kites, uh, X wings, those kind of things. Move on to the twos, threes, all the way to the nines. I can tell you, you're not going to find anything. This puzzle's tough. So the second thing you can do is you can look for by value cell strategies. So those are the ones that are like XY wings, XY chains, remote pairs. 
by filling those in, you're going to find some more restrictions in the puzzle. And we should do this because it will give you some clues on where to find that powerful strategy. And so where can we find five value cells? Look in heavy houses. So rows, columns, and blocks that have at least five cells filled out. That will be helpful. And where you can find in this row is right here. You have a two, six. Because you have two, six, seven, eight. Can't be a seven or an eight. Then if you look here in row five, this might be a little hard to see all these restrictions. But what you got is, look at this cell. You'll see it can't be a one, two, three, five, six, seven, or nine. So that's got to be a four and eight. Next to it, you got the one, two, three, five, seven. So you're looking for four, six, eight, nine. Can't be four and eight. So that's a six and a nine right there. And then this cell right here, one, three, four, five, six. Can't be a seven or an eight. That gives you a two or a nine right there. Stay in here. You know, you got the three, four, six here. You got the one and the two there. You got the seven and the nine there. This can only be a five or an eight. So you can mark that as a buy value cell. Look up here in the corner. You might see that you have a 189 in the block, 2 and a 6 in the row, and a 7 and a 5 in the column. Leads you with just a 3 and a 4. This is how you spot these. You look for you know at least 3 or 4 cells in a row column block and then see if there's more restrictions in the block or the row that it's in. The cell right here. You might see that you know you got the three cells here, you got the seven there, and then you got a two, six, and an eight. That restricts you to a one and a four. And then you look down here, you can count the four, six, three, seven, eight. That's kind of like your heavy house. So you have a one, two, five, nine. Well, with this five and the pointing pair of twos, this is a one, nine. Okay. And we just have a couple more buy value cells. You look here in block five, and this is really where Bonnie wants you to look. You got a one, four, five, nine, you know, two, three, six, seven, eight. Well, with the two, six here in the row, with that seven, that's a three, eight. And then with the three in the column, that's a seven, eight. Okay. And so you do this, and you're looking for comparisons, and you're not going to find any X, Y wings, X, Y chains. So now you got to go to the third thing you can try, and that's setter's intent. This is a handmade classic. This is what separates it from those computer-generated puzzles. Bondi made this puzzle to convey an idea to you, and he wants you to find it. So what do you know about Bondi? Well, I've featured a couple dozen of his puzzles on my channel. He likes WXYZ wings, which involve bi-value cells and their relationship with other cells around them in a row, in a block, or a column in a block. That's what he wants you to do. You notice you have some of these by value cells. How do they relate to each other? And what he did is he added some cells right here. He put this nice 2, 6 right there in column 5. And you see there's some restrictions down here. How does this relate? And this is what you have to figure out. So what you want to do is you want to fill out block 5 and go, okay, how does this relate? 1, 4, 5, 9, you need 2, 3, 6, 7, 8. This can't be a 7, this can't be a 7 or an 8, and this cell can't be a 3 or an 8. Now right there, that doesn't look like much until you compare it to this cell. These two cells are pretty, pretty powerful actually. So you have to notice, and I'll put it in green, is there some restriction going on here, right? You have a 2, 3, 6, 7 in these two cells in block 5 and column 5. You have one by a value cell, two six looking at it from the column. And then within the block, you'll notice you have these two cells right here. Seven, eight, and a three, eight. So they share an eight, but they also contain a three and a seven. So all four candidates, two, three, six, seven, are represented in this two six here in the column and these two cells, which have a three and a seven. So you gotta ask yourself, are there some restrictions on what can be in this column and in this block because of that? Okay, notice here, if the 2 and the 6 were both in these cells, so if that was a 1 of the 2 or 6 and this was 1 of the 2 or 6, 
then you wouldn't have anything to put in this cell right there, right? So we know both of those, the two and six cannot be in both those cells. One of them has to be up here. So one has to be there. But if this was just a three and a seven, then you'd see that three, seven here, both of these cells would have to be an eight. So you can't, this can't be both be a three, seven, and it can't be both two, six. What does that mean? It means that one of a two, six has to be here. The other's got to be in that cell. And I'll highlight that in blue. One of the three, seven has to be here, and the other has to be in that cell. You see how that works? It can't be any other way. Because I just showed you, you either run out of digits to put here or there. This is called a Sudoku Sudokoke. This is a four cell Sudokoke. And the way you find it is you find four digits and you look and say, does it have a by value cell you know, in a column that makes it up? And then the other two digits are they represent in the block somehow. In this case, it will work with two cells, one being seven, eight, one, three, eight, because they're connected with the eight. The eight is only one shared digit there. And you saw what happens. So what can you do about this? This beautiful, powerful strategy means since a two and a six have to be in one of these cells and the other has to be there, you can eliminate all the two and sixes in this column. If you look at this cell right here, you'll notice it can't be a one, can't be a three, four, seven, eight or a nine. It can only be two, five, or six. Well, with this suit of Coke, this can't be a two or a six anymore. You'll run out of digits to put in these three cells. So you can solve this for a five. And since you know three and seven have to be in these cells, you can eliminate a three and seven from any other cell within the block. So right here has a three, you can remove a three. If you go to put a three there, you're gonna run out of digits to put in these cells because of the effect of the pseudocoke. This is beautiful stuff, very powerful strategy. You don't see it often, but it's going to allow you to make some more solves here. So what is the impact on row, column, and block? Uh, thank you, Bonnie. I, this is really awesome stuff. You'll notice that you can solve this for five. So with these fives, now you can solve this cell for a five, displacing that seven. And then with these sevens, that's got to be a seven. That's got to be eight. That's got to be a three. Okay, continue on and look for the impact here. You can displace that eight and solve this cell now for an eight. Gives you a nice two, six, make it pair to finish row two. And then what you'll notice is you have two, four, six down here to finish the row. Two and the six are in the column. So that's a four. That's going to be a two, six. And now you can solve this for a three. Can't be a four anymore. It's a three in the corner, bum, bum, bum. And that four means that's an eight. That's going to be a four. And you see how we start to make some solves here. Okay, after doing that, now where can you look? Uh, this is kind of a, this next solve, a little tricky, but you might be able to spot it. Notice how the two and the six are restricted to columns five and six here in block two. And now, because that can't be a six, the sixes are restricted to columns five and six in block five. And you have a six here covering that row. This six covers that row. Where can a six go in the column? It's a hidden single six right here. That's the only thing that could be a six, which displaces that four. And now at these fours, you can solve that for a four, displacing the one, displacing that nine. Beautiful. Okay, now where do we go? Well, you notice now with this eight, that's got to be a seven. And you can remove the seven from right there. With these sevens, you can solve for a seven right here. And then we can move on and do some more solves. Okay, you notice here they got the two six naked pair, so that has to be a three now. With these threes and this three, you can solve for a three right there. And then with this three, you got the eight right there. You can get rid of that as an eight. And with these two eights and this eight, solve this cell now for an eight. All right, and then. You got these two fives. You can solve for a five and block four. That five and this five, solve for a five right here. 
gives you looks like a one and a nine with this one that's got to be the nine that's got to be the one with this nine there's a nine there's going to be your two so now you got a six and a two right there you got a six and a two right there with the nine in the row that's got to be a six disambiguate the two and a six right there so just keep making those solves and making progress in the puzzle look in column one now we just need looks like a two and a four well i got a four right there how about a two and an eight with this eight there's your eight there's going to be your two so follow the eights that you just made that's got to be an eight right there with this two there's going to be a two that's going to be your seven all right and then down here it looks like you need a three and a seven i'll make that mark real quick but i bet we can do better than that because you'll see that right here you just need looks like a seven and a nine and what about right here looks like you just need a three and a five there we go so that five is going to allow you to put the three right here it's allow you to disambiguate the seven three there so make a few marks and once you figure it out try to get rid of those marks as quickly as possible all right i don't see a five in column eight so there's your five i don't see a two in row nine all right and then you got it looks like a one and a nine right there actually you can't solve that until you put the one here and these ones there's your one there's your nine this three you know that's got to be your three and our last digit is a nine now see if you can spot the pseudocoke in this next video Thank you so much for watching.